Hi guys, my name is Lightmaster, and today, welcome to my new series called Let's Talk About, and of course this is episode 1 because you're watching it, and this is Splatoon 3, and I brought a special guest on here to help talk about what, how we feel about this game, and her name is Marina, I will leave a link in the description for her if you would like to subscribe. Hello. Please, please don't do it. Oi! <laughs> I only, this I, is our this is our type of like friend relationship. Yeah, this, this is just try this and is like us. tell each. <laughs> yeah, oh. I brought I actually brought Marina because she love loves Splatoon. the game Splatoon two. I played Splatoon one like the year it came out, it's not not the day it came out because I didn't get it the day it came out. But when it like the year it came out, I got this game. I played it to death, but I was not good at it. And after many years, I only got to level 42. I would then... say I'm a pretty, like, I would say I'm a pretty good Splatoon 2 player. You mean roller. Anyway. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't mean roller. I shut mean up. splatter shot. No, you mean roller. Shut up. I don't mean roll. I don't mean <laughs> roller. You should Alright, yeah. So. Well, I'm going to make the new ink though, so I don't. Anyway, we're a minute into the video and we're procrastinating. So, <laughs> I'm sort of by saying one thing that I feel is actually a nice, like, upgrade to what they're doing with the new spawn mechanic. How you spawn in like this and then you choose where you'd like to land. It's, I don't want to. I don't want to be the guy to say it, but I find it quite similar to Fortnite. Because in Fortnite, you decide where you want to land. Yeah, but like this just looks way cooler. Yeah, because like Fortnite you get is shot dead. Of a cannon. Fortnite is dead. Put your opinions in. The... Fortnite is dead. Confirmed. Fortnite right. is dead. Officially confirmed. Anyway. Like they thought it was Gen Z's nine. Oh, bro. We're getting on topic here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Body for two. That is is one thing that I actually think is a good point to bring up, and that is Splatoon two came. No, not Splatoon two. Splatoon one. <laughs> came out in 2015 and then they released Splatoon 2 two years later but this game is set to release in 2022 meaning they would have been working on the game for about five years yeah. now what they've shown here might not be the final like might not be the final game if it is the final game I'll be disappointed I know because they spent most of the thing working on this hey he's got a piece of his eyebrow missing <laughs> They finally put that in. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I also didn't notice that it says hair time. Yeah, that's just weird. I'm sorry. But, but the new I'm... story mode looks promising. We have a new bow, new hair designs for... I like, I like that hair. New I don't know how I feel about and, the octoling hair, though. A, just look at... a, new a new friend. He's, he's not a friend. He's your friend. You pick his hairstyle as well. And, yeah... Seems how Chaos won the last Splatfest. The whole story mode of this game is based on Chaos. The whole world is in ruins. The Eiffel Tower flipped upside down, stuck in the ground. And this my question is going to be. Uh, go on, say. My question is going to be: Will you be able to use amiibo? Like, what gear will you get if you use Pearl and Marina amiibos? Well, I don't have Pearl and Marina That's amiibos, my question. so I'll never find out. I will find out. Also, I want one thing that I like, a uh, nice, nice touch, that this is the, what's called, the train from, this is the train yeah. from Arctic Expansion. I forgot they what They finally brought it out of the underground. Yeah. See, Cucumber's finally gotten it out of the underworld. I mean, here's one thing that I do not really like about this trailer, though. The absence of Sea Cucumber and, yeah. and the appearance of this weird fish-looking thing. That fish-looking thing is terrifying. Look at his eyes. What what they've shown us here may be the complete game. They haven't shown us any story modes, but I what I'm hoping it is that it'll be less like Splatoon One and, and Splatoon Two story modes, and it'll be more like the story modes in Octo Expansion, how there are actual levels designed around how the like, what weapons you need to use. Meanwhile, in Splatoon One, you can only use the splatter shots, and in Splatoon Two, you can use whatever weapon you want. Unless well, Sheldon tells you. Depending on what weapon you would unlock. And finally, the last point I feel like I should bring up is right here the logo. Personally, I do like the logo. 
but all the things that I'm about to come off as saying, you guys may take it as I don't like how this logo looks. But, well, I have some some problems with it. I did see a concept for how the Splatoon 3 logo could look, and it was similar to this. But instead of having a purple and yellow, or like neon yellow outline, that it that? has a green outline and a blue three. And I personally feel like that may look a bit better than how the logo looks. Don't I don't want to come off as I hate this logo, but I do feel like that other one that I did see is better. You mean the blue one? Yes, that is that is the one I was just talking about before you left the call. Yeah, I didn't mean to though. <laughs> anyway, so guys, that is what I would like to say about my feelings on Splatoon 3. Marina, do you have anything to add? Uh, yeah, well, I remember if you watched the stream, we thought it was a DLC at first. Yeah. I didn't they say. didn't, like, I want to know how, like, you know how the, you had, like, a little small chump yeah. at the beginning? How would this guy work? Is he how, a bum? How will that incorporate into the game? Like, will it attack everyone? Well, 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 he, well can, you, can you use him as a bum? <laughs> can you use him as a bum? That's our main color. Also, the pupil change. Yeah, the pupil change can look good, but here's a question I have. They do have black up here, but does that black control the iris, or is that just parts that aren't a color? Because here, it's got red, but will they control the iris or not? These are all questions that I don't know the answer to, but I want to know the answer to. Well, and I'll find out when Splatoon 3 comes out in 2022. See, the thing is, though, it's like... You know, like, the things over around their eyes, it looks like, I don't know. What if it changes the colour of that? Yeah. That, it's <laughs> that will look so weird. That will be a design choice I will never understand about Inklings, because they make them look like supervillains. Exactly. See, Oxlings look better, because they've got just, like... It just looks like they haven't had enough sleep. <laughs> That's all I... Oh, wait. Just start it there. Yeah. I, th I think there's an... O yeah, there's an... O um, fast forward to the when the purple team come in. There's an there's there's Oxling on the purple team. But that's not doing right there. Yeah, I know. Put it onto where the purple team come. <laughs> oh. There, there's an Oxling. Yeah, and they don't have it. That's yeah, that's Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't been paying attention to this trailer. Alright, so anyway, yeah. that'll be it for this video. As I say, I will leave a link in the description for Marina's channel if you would like to go subscribe, but don't. Um, I'll see you guys later while Mom Megan says that she hates me.